welcome back to Put a Sam Cork in It, which is my channel's name, in case you keep forgetting, because I keep announcing it for you, so you should know it by now. <laughs> but I'm Sam Corker, and I'm back for another video, and this is my What I Got for Christmas video. So I am here with my array of Christmas presents, my Yule Log, which is extra festive today, my stocking, which is a monogram Lily Pulitzer stocking, which I'm so excited about, and that's where we're going to start off today. So when you open up my stocking, I have a little small bottle of Endless Weekend by Bath & Body Works. Then I have a tiny Beautiful Day lotion from Bath & Body Works. And then I have a Mahogany Teakwood, which smells like a wonderful Abercrombie Man little mini candle. And then I have some assorted gift cards to Amazon and to iTunes and as well as a micro SD card and then I have a color changing lipstick that I have already tried I have the rest of my stocking is all candy so I have some chocolates and then a bunch of assortments of different sour candies down at the bottom and my mom always stuffs in those candy coals so those are at the very bottom of my stocking next I'll go into gifts that I got from other family members that like non-family members I guess so my brother's girlfriend um, he is in the Marines my brother's girlfriend picked us out Christmas gifts this year since he really couldn't do anything so she actually got me this green scarf that I'm wearing which I originally got was gray tell I turned these lights on <laughs> but it still matches so we're good we're good which is really cozy and I love this forest green color this year so she did a great job and then I'm insanely obsessed with coffee table books and just like inspiring like how to be happy books and she got me you are doing a freaking great job and other reminders of your awesomeness which is this really sweet book that's like full of just like let your dreams fly and taking the road traveled and fortune favors the brave and just really cool little pictures that have quotes on them and I am just in love with this book. I think this is probably one of the most sentimental gifts I got this year. Just that she listened over the past year of getting to know me and I just, I'm in love with it. I think it was just the sweetest thing that anyone could have done. Next, one of my best friends actually, um, this is an Alex Danny box so I didn't lose it, but um, one of my best friends knows that I struggle with a mental illness. I'm actually bipolar. But um, with bipolar, you deal with mania and depression, so I've dealt with a lot of depression. Um, I self-harmed for years, I dealt with eating disorders. I have a very long story with that, and I hope to one day be brave enough to post that online. And if you stick with me, I hope to one day share this on that channel. But um, the semicolon movement has been one of my favorites, and I want to get that tattooed this summer on my body and get um, tunes to keep going next to a semicolon. And my friend this year searched everywhere and got me this really cool um, charm bracelet that's kind of like the Alex and Ani's and it says my story is not over on one charm, the next charm has a semicolon and then the next charm is a ribbon with a lime green um, little like rhinestone on it I guess and it's actually apparently the color of um, mental illnesses ribbons and it was just really cool, it was something sentimental, she taught me something new with it. And just the fact that I know that she spent hours looking for something that she knew that I would hold on to and cherish is just so cool. I loved hearing that and knowing that she just knew me so well that that was really something inspiring and just, I loved it. It, it made me cry. <laughs> so I got that from her and these are just really great gifts. So now I'm going to move on to what my other brother and his wife and my niece picked out for me. So my brother and my sister-in-law and my niece all, I guess, stood in Victoria's Secrets and sniffed other lotions because I have like a prime two that I always pick from. And they got me Aqua Kiss, which smells like um, daisies. And I'll have to say, it smells pretty good. So now let's move on to what Santa or my mother and I picked out for Christmas. So we'll move on to Bath & Body Works because we went there three times this year. <laughs> it was a fun time. Okay, so first off, we went during their candle sale. So I think the candles were like 
8.50 and then we had two coupons, so it was good times. So I got spiced apple toddy, which for whatever reason, spiced apple toddy, it just makes me think of just, what does it say? Okay, it says a sweet mixture of winter fruits, apple brandy, and spiced plum will warm up all of your winter celebrations. It still makes me think of Thanksgiving, though. I know it's supposed to be a Christmas candle, but it makes me think of Thanksgiving. Then, that was really loud, I thought I broke that. <laughs> then I got Marshmallow Fireside, which is so sweet and delectable, and uh, ha, ha, I just loved it. And it had a cute little lid that I just... Uh, they, I think that's how they get you. They just make really cute things. A sweet, toasty end to a cold day. Toasted marshmallows and sumptuous scrumptious? There's no R in that. Sumptuous? Sumptuous? Sumptuous. <laughs> Vanilla cream blend into the comforting aroma of rich smothering wood. Smoldering wood. Good job, Sam. English is your first language. I'm proud of you for reading. Last, because I had actually gone through and picked up the little travel size. I filled my own stocking this year, and when, when the candles went on sale, I was like, Mom, I want a big mahogany teak wood, because I come in and smell this every single time, and I hate Abercrombie and Fitch clothes, but the smell of Abercrombie and Fitch makes me happy because it just smells like big buff men on the outside of bags, and that's just that's what I like in life. So I got a mahogany teak wood candle, which I'm allowed to burn when my mom's not around. <laughs> the luxurious scent of fine wood, mahogany, cedar wood, and oak are <laughs> enlightened by a delicate lavender. And then I got two sets of lotions and body washes, and they're in opposite hands. Good job, Sam. I got Winter Candy Apple Lotion and Body Wash in Fresh Sparkling Snow. Winter Candy Apple smells like red apples, Winter Rose Petals, Candid Orange Maple Leaf Fresh Cinnamon, and Fresh Sparkling Snow smells like Iced Pear, Frozen Melon, Winter Apple, Snowdrop Blossom, Frosted Musk. Apparently, I have a thing for apples. So, I actually picked these out early and used these for a video because I said, Mom, I can't leave these under the tree and not use them. So, I've been using... Whoa! Where are you going there, mister? I got the Real Cheeky Party by Benefit, which has Dandelion, Rocketeer, Sugar Bomb, What's Up, Hula, and Coralista with the Real Push-Up Liner, which I can't seem to get started and the Their Real Mascara, which I love, and I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which works really well, and the, all of them are falling out of their packages, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Correcting Cream, which I'm currently wearing on my skin, and it makes my skin look so good. I've gotten so many compliments since using this cream. So good. Okay. Next super awesome gift that I'm so in love with is my new Numi Curling Iron, which, fun fact, did not pay full price for this Numi Curling Iron. I found this for $24.99 at Marshall's with my mother, and it looks like this. I've already used it. I used it to curl my hair last night for Christmas Eve, and it is, tell me what the size is, is the 25 millimeter barrel and black. I like the black on black, I just feel like that's hot. Like, black on black on black, I want a black on black on black. That would be hot. That's hot. I feel like Paris Hilton, I feel like I need to take that thought out of my vocabulary. Is it like early 2000s again? Yes, yes it is. It's in early 2000s in my room. Okay, and then my mom and I actually decided to get Alex and Ani bracelets for each other and I got the sand dollar Alex and Ani in gold which I'll get a closer look for you and the sand dollar stands for blessings legend and treasure sand dollars move with the sea they embody energy of transformation freedom and the strength to change with grace legend has it that five doves of peace can be found within a sand dollar shell some say these are the five angels that sang to the wise men, trust the process and receive the blessings that flow toward you. Next silly little gift, I got a selfie stick. Trendy things. Okay, and then two trendy things that I got for Christmas was a 400 writing prompts book which has just little writing prompts like do you think chewing gum is beneficial or just a bad habit? 
finish a sentence. Life is short or explain lightning to a five-year-old. And I just, I love writing, so it's kind of cool to, like, have to do writing prompts. I actually pull them off of um, Pinterest and just write things, so that was kind of neat to find that for myself this year. And then I got a Q&A a day, 365 questions, five-year 1,825 answers, five year journal, which I'm so excited about. I feel like every single YouTuber and like every person has bought this from Francesca's right now, but I've seen it in all of Megan Ring's videos and I just needed to get it. I just had to. So I got a Q&A journal and I'm so excited by it and that's my love. Next, I just got this gold um, striped cell phone case and matching headphone and then I got four CDs. I got Chris Young's I'm Coming Over because I watch his podcasts on Facebook or his videos, whatever they're called, on Facebook whenever he talks because he's the cutest thing. And then I got Sean Mendez's Handwriting Revisited. Which does this have? I know what he did this summer. It, does it? Because I'm obsessed with this one. It does! Yes, I didn't check. Okay, and then I got Walk the Moon because I love Shut Up and Dance. And I don't know any other songs, I'm a fake fan. And then I got Demi Lovato's Confident because Girlfriend slays. Like, what? What does she do all the time? She just eat, breathes, sleeps, slaying. Okay. And then I got um, the Elf Nudes to Bold Lookbook. And it is just a four, four pack of quads. I shut up palettes by Elf. And I actually like the pigmentation of the Elf's palettes. So I can do a review or looks on this if you got that also for Christmas or I'll probably do them anyway. You don't have to ask. I'll do them anyway. And then I got the, whoa I can feel mom moving this thing and it's terrifying me. Um, Chic Color Collection 20 Piece Nail Polish Set by e.l.f. Which there's matte, there's glitter, there's gloss, there's, I don't know, I'm just excited because I need a new nail polish because a girl can never have enough nail polish, right? That's a thing. That's a thing. My nails are plain right now and I just want to paint them. And then I got a new laptop case because I got a new laptop and this boy is smaller than my old giant laptop so you can in this now. Aren't you happy? You're so pretty. You're purple. My favorite. Oh, I got Pure, Se Pure Seduction Body Lotion and Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret and Love Spell in the lotion and fragrance mist because those are their most popular and those are my favorite. Next I got a Vivotar Wi-Fi action camera which is spinning around in this case but it's pretty much like a GoPro but a less expensive GoPro and it doesn't have all the like little body things you can buy for it but it does exactly the same thing. <laughs> so I got this for Christmas because I wanted to try it out and see if I would actually use it before I save up the money to invest in a GoPro. Okay, and then my mom was really awesome, and this year for Christmas I got an Ipsy bag. So in my Ipsy bag I got the Pacifica lipstick in nudie red that I think everybody got. That was like the one item everybody got. I got the Think Me Later eyeshadow primer. I got a Model Co. lip liner in doesn't tell me the color, but I got a lip liner and it matches the nude lips, with the nudie red lipstick. And then I got a Clark's Botanicals Deep Moisturizing Mask, which is amazing. I highly suggest this. Like, I just need, I need a lot more of it. But you can wear it as a mask or you can wear it as a moisturizer, and I've worn it as a moisturizer and it just saves my skin. And then last, I got this Marc Anthony's True Professional Hydrating Cocoa Oil Shea Butter Deep Conditioning Treatment that's sulfate free and a leave-in conditioner for color treated hair and you can use it weekly and that smells amazing loved it and it makes your hair super shiny so I do recommend that but I've been using those since I got that in my December Ipsy bag and then my mother went on eBay and eBayed me a Kate Spade purse and I do not remember the pattern of this I can look it up and link it down below but I searched like paisley yellow print um, Kate Spade bag and you can find this one and I think it retails for like $375 but mine had some imperfections to it. It had like some wearing on the outside and there's like a small tear on the side and I actually wore a black shirt and got black on my white leather bag. Excellent, I know. 
So this is going to be my kind of like throw all Kate Spade bag. And then, a new with tags, Kate Spade purse. And I have the paperwork. Kate Spade, Geraldine, Marvis Street Offshore. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Maybe, I'm so bad at this. But I got this bag. And then with this bag, part of my Christmas gift was the matching pouch inside, which is awesome because it, this matches my New Year's dress. So this will be my sparkle and my New Year's dress, which I'm super excited for. And this was just a really awesome gift for my mother. And then now we're going to move on to clothes because most of these clothes were purchased on Black Friday or I went out shopping with my mom and we got good deals or some of it was like... I don't know, some of it we share. My mom and I are just about the same size, so all of the clothes that I have, we can share unless my monograms on it. So, if it looks like I have a lot of clothes, it's because my closet is her closet. So first off, I got this pink tank top, and this Victoria's Secret pink tank top, and I don't know if you went to their Black Friday sale, but these were literally the only Black Friday items on sale at Victoria's Secrets. So I got two of those. These were their $10 tank tops. And then next, which I'm really excited about, we shopped at Marley Lily. So I don't know if you know that brand, but it's really, it's a lot of preppy things. They have, Marley Lily has all of their monogram stuff and they're just really preppy. I love it. They have um, Shop Monday, which is like their dress boutique. But I shop at Molly Lily and has their Molly Lily logo and then the back says Land of the Free Home of the Monograms and it just has my monogram in the inside of the flag. Um, my brother is in the service like I mentioned before so we have a ton of red, white, and blue things and I was just really excited to get one that had my monogram on it this year. And then when we purchased that we actually got this shirt because this jacket, um, had a value and like if you paid a certain amount you got free shipping. So I really wanted a rain jacket this year and I looked at Victoria's Secrets and there was a rain jacket for $90 and I was like that is outrageous. <laughs> it doesn't have anything with me, like, with me on it. It's going to be something that billions of girls have already and I would rather have something with my monogram on it. Which this has a sleeve in. One moment. Okay, so I have... I have my monogram here, and then it's also on the top of the hood, and I just love that. We actually paid $10 extra to get it on the hood, but it has my monogram. It's this really cute army or forest green color. It cinches at the bottom. It is really good material. I feel like this is like a good size because I got it, I think, a size large so that I could layer stuff underneath of it because it's a lightweight jacket. Love it. Best investment ever. I'm so excited. And then I picked up a, another scarf. Um, this is just another blanket scarf. This is my like third or fourth blanket scarf. I have a blanket scarf obsession. It's a problem. Um, when I went to Victoria's Secrets and I bought my um, tank tops, I got in, um, entered into a thing for a like Victoria's Secret Scratcher after Black Friday when I, cause I bought my perfumes and everything the same time I bought the tank tops and my scratcher was for $20 so I got this t-shirt that's a pocket tee with pink on it and then it says pink on the back and I got this for I think like $18, $17 because of my scratcher so that was really cool and then my mom and I actually found, um, falling off my bed, my mom and I actually found that Macy's at our store sells kind of like the like southern style t-shirts where it's like the long sleeve shirt like you get from southern shirt company or like southern marsh something like that where, um, but they do it for Virginia, um, which I don't normally see places that do shirts just specifically for Virginia, um, so we got these t-shirts and this one has a bow on it and the back says southern prep and they're long enough to wear with um, leggings and then this one says Virginia 
American original, and then the back says authentic Virginia girl on it. And then this one has a Virginia state sign on it and says Virginia. And then the back says everyone loves a Virginia girl. So that was really cool and that was something that we found um, when we were shopping. I also found another like t-shirt there earlier in the year. So it was cool to go back and see that they had warmer shirts. And then when we were at Route 21 shopping for my brother, I found a shirt that says Off Duty Mermaid and I was really excited. So I think I'm actually wearing this tomorrow when we go shopping because every mermaid needs a break. And then just one more eBay find that my mom had. Um, we actually got a few more Lily dresses than we were expecting, so I am selling those so they don't fit us. But we do have two Lily dresses that fit us. So we have this pink size large Lily tunic that I believe is like, it should be pink type Lily. It really hasn't been worn much, like the tag on the inside is still fairly like not worn in at all, so I'm pretty certain this is brand new. Um, but I have a lily scarf that's like a authentic, like, I guess, 70s, 80s lily scarf that matches this. I'm really excited to wear that with it. And then my mom also got this, oh no, what is on you? I will clean you. Um, but my mom got this, um, black and white striped lily dress that I believe one of my dogs just put their foot on, <laughs> but I'm going to clean that in just a minute, and that's just really cool. She's really excited. This was her first Lily dress. She's worn my stuff before, but that was her first one that she bought for herself, and she's really excited to pair that with like a red scarf for me to pick up my little brother sometime this year, because it's insanely warm this year at, in Virginia. It's like 80 degrees on Christmas, so I'm a little hot. Next, I just got two pajama sets, and this one is um, coffee plus donuts, and then it has a coffee and donuts um, bottoms, and then I got a I Heart Sleep top, I can't see which side this is going to, and then it just says I Heart Sleep, I Need Sleep all over the bottoms. It's like back to bed all the time, and I'm just piling this crap behind me, and I'm going to put it away in a minute. And then the last things I got that I'm actually sharing with my mom because she got two pairs and I got three pairs are these really comfortable sweatpants from Rue 21 that we just needed sweatpants because we have gym problems. So that's about it. That's That was my Christmas. Um, I still have to exchange one gift with my other best friend. Megan and that's my Christmas. Um, my biggest gift for Christmas this year was actually that my brother who was in the Marine Corps came home for Christmas. He um, is out in California right now so it was really 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 cool to have him fly in and for us to be able to have him this year for the holidays. I'm going to get teared up right now but it's really cool to have him for the holidays. Um, I don't see him very much right now since he joined the Marines this summer and it's it breaks my heart to know that there are some people who don't have their family this year for Christmas. So, although I really love all the gifts that I got, and I'm so very thankful for everything that I've received, and I just can't tell you enough all these things, but they're so much fun to, to wear or to to hang out with my family and talk about. But the, the best thing that I saw was having my niece run over to my little brother and say, Uncle Jonathan, you're finally home and she hasn't seen him since before he left for basic and that was probably the best christmas wish i could have asked for was that they were reunited and that she got to hug him and tell him she loved him and tell him he looked like a prince when he went to go meet his girlfriend's parents so um i just wanted to let you know that i know i just told you all about these materialistic things that i got for christmas and that seems really cool, and that seems like I got a lot, but the biggest gift that I got was not something that could be wrapped under my tree, but something that I got to hug. Um, but I just wanted to let you all know that I'm thinking of you this year, and I hope that you enjoyed your Christmas. I know I'm going to upload this super late tonight, um, but I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas with your family, and you got to spend some time with them, and I hope you all know what a blessing you are to this world and to those around you. Um, I hope you remember the real reason for the season is not for the gifts, but for him. 
um, and I hope that you all see that um, you can do so much in this world and that you are great people and I'm so very blessed to be able to talk to you on camera equipment and have social media and be able to converse with all of you and if you want to talk to me or you want to get to know me or you want to follow me on all my social medias, so those links are down below. Um, you should like, comment, and subscribe so that I can get to know you and I can give you virtual hugs all the time. I'm very thankful to share. I'm very thankful for where I've been. But that's all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think I've said that like five times now. Um, I'm rambling. Bye guys. Thank you again for watching. Merry Christmas. I don't care if the house is packed or the strings of light are broken. I don't care if the gifts are wrapped or there's nothing here to